So you want to put in a custom background or skybox into your VR chat world. Not a problem. There are multiple ways to do this, and today we're going to be covering a simple, straightforward, and easy way to get it done quickly. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in a world project with a default skybox. Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get a new texture image for our skybox. Now, the way we're going to be doing it today involves something called an HDRI image. So let's take a look at where we can get some of those. We're going to head back over to Polyhaven. And if you're following our last video, we were here looking at textures. Well, if we just go back to the home page, we can see they actually do have HDRIs. Now, if any of these are interesting to you, feel free to grab one of these. There is 817, so lots to choose from. But I personally wanted a space themed one. So I chose to use something a little different, even though these will work the same way with the image. I'll include a link here again in the description in case you want to get back to where we're at. So here is just a NASA picture of a star map and it's a super high resolution image. So we're just going to download that and we're going to get the 4K JPEG. Now that we have an image downloaded that we want to use, we just need to import it into our project. I do recommend putting these in a separate folder, but it is not required. We need to change the default texture shape to a cube. We also need to change the wrap mode to clamp. And like always, we're going to change the max size to 1024 and then hit apply to all of these. Now we need a material that can handle this texture, so let's create a new material. We're going to call it star map skybox. What we need to do with this is go to our shader type and change it from standard to skybox and cube map. Now we need to drag our texture into the cube map. Now at this point, we can go ahead and hit our window button, go into Rendering, Lighting, Environment, and then we need to assign our material we just made, which is right here. Now at this point, your skybox will change whatever image you set. Now you're going to probably, possibly, this is totally up to you, adjust your environmental lighting to the skybox. You can then adjust the intensity multiplier to whatever you think fits correctly. We'll just leave it as one. Then you're going to want to hit generate lighting. This actually bakes the lighting in so it works for quest users. That pretty much sums up how we do this. Of course, you don't have to do the lighting this way. Play with what works for you. Again, that's under rendering, lighting, environment. You can set the environmental lighting source back to color gradient skybox. Play around with it and see what works best for you. Now that we have this set up, I'd like to go ahead and take a second to ask you to hit that like button. It's absolutely free. And please drop a comment if you have a question or just simply want to say that it worked for you as well. Any comment helps push this video to more people and grow the channel. And that's it. Hopefully this gave you a solid start. Whether you're building your first VR chat world or just looking to add more polish to the one you've already got, these little systems can go a long way toward making your world feel interactive and alive. If you want to try this asset out before dropping it into your own project, I've got a public demo world set up. You can jump in, push buttons, test things out, and see exactly how it works in action. I always try to keep the demo world updated with the latest version. So it's a great place to explore and get ideas. And if this video helped you, or if you're using any of my tools in your world, consider supporting me on Patreon. It helps me carve out more time to make these assets, keep them updated, and put together more tutorials like this one. Even a small pledge goes a long way and means a lot. There's a link to both the demo world and the Patreon in the description below, so feel free to check them out. Thanks again for watching, and as always, 
see you in the next one.